the coffee is black, the penguins are on the rampage, <laughs> the robot is very, very frisky, and I'd like to welcome you to the Friday, July 18th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just rants, and today I'm going to do a wrap-up rant <laughs> of my... A fabulous bat cave bottle. In fact, this one comes right out of a, a Lego 7783, the bat cave, the penguin, and Mr. Freeze's Invasion, 1,075 pieces. Easily one of the largest sets that I personally have ever built. It, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I've, I've done uh, quite a number of videos on it. I realize that. Uh, I think one of the reasons that I've, I've done the videos is because I've enjoyed reading my comics. And I want to prolong uh, the <laughs> adventure. No, it's just such a big bottle. Uh, I had to do it in segments. The first segment I did was the penguin and his minions with his sub. Yeah, that's a submarine. And uh, I, I went into quite a bit of detail on it. The second one was the uh, Bat Boat and Robin's Jet Ski. Uh, I did a separate modeling blog daily on Mr. Freeze and the history of Mr. Freeze. And I did another overview of the Bat Cave on modeling blog daily from the comics. I did an overview primary review of the Bat Cave. In the last modeling blog daily on Thursday I did the top side. Well today I'm going to cover the bottom side guys. The bottom side. The uh, the fact remains that Bruce Wayne had a, a mansion and a farm and he was a socialite. I, I don't think he was a playboy as much as he was just a socialite and he kind of socialized lighted. <laughs> he socialized. He, he got around and uh, that was his cover. But when he was Batman he went downstairs uh, his spiral staircase and there you see the the spiral staircase just like Harry Potter and just like the the temple of the crystal skull and uh, he, he went down the spiral staircase and uh, then he went and then do a secret laboratory, and that's what I covered yesterday. By the way, that's I think part of his museum. Uh, he, he he had a museum, uh, and you can see it right there in the comic. But they didn't have very much room, so they put a sword and they put the Joker's head. I don't know if that's a fake Joker's head or whatever. It's probably a part of the history of Batman. Anyhow, they had a natural grotto, and the natural grotto went to an underground river uh, below the surface of the earth, below the farm. And, and so consequently, Batman had to have a way to get out and uh, fight the criminals in his underground river. This amazing device is uh, part of the contraption that makes up the, this uh, wonderful uh, grotto area. It's a it, it's a, a boat ramp. When you put it like this, see right there, then the skids fit perfectly. The skids. Somebody called this a skid boat. Uh, it might it may well be a skid boat. Anyhow, the skids will. Uh, allow you to, you know, they fit perfectly right in, in there. And then when you turn it like around, see I'm turning it to where the engines now facing the secret laboratory. What, what it has is it has a bunch of tools. See those are tools. So Batman can then work on his, on the engine of his bat boat. Robin has a little jet ski and they, he can park his jet ski on the ramp. There's a, a little ladder that, uh, that, that goes from another dock area, a separate dock area, where I kind of had the, the penguin coming in. 
and I put Mr. Freeze there. They have some rats, which are, are really neat, a little oil container. So this is in the in the bowels of the grotto, I called it, with bats hanging in, from the ceiling and everything. They they had uh, they did a double up, two tiered background mountain side kind of a thing. This is really, really unique. This, uh, I'm going to take this off so I can show you. This jail is is done up very well. And uh, what makes it unique, I'm going to zoom in there so you can see it. You can see my uh, engineer met his fate in the jail. That is like an underground sewer, guys. So if you're doing stop motion videos and things like that, you've got a lot of options here. And also the sides of the jail are are jail. See, I didn't show you in the main video. See how right there it's and then in the back it's got the support. So this is a really nice structure and it it goes down and then this this right here fits nicely and locks and locks the gate they have this uh, rather unique uh, pulley kind of like uh, what uh, there, there, there goes my little penguins where Robin can or or Batman can use it, to, we call it in the Rangers. I was in the Rangers, by the way. A slide for life, uh, and they they really do have it. Where you you know you you go way high in the air, and then you do, you, you got to drop up before you hit the bottom or you die. <laughs> in this case, he's going to drop into the the drink, but that's that's the way I have it set up. Anyhow, this, this is uh, one of the best models that I've ever done. I don't know if you can buy it anymore. I bought mine brand new on the eBay. I was very, very lucky. If you can get it, get it and build it. It's a long, long, tedious build, but it's a lot of fun. If you're into the stop motion video, this would be a wonderful set to get because you got the good guys, you got the butler, you got Bruce Wayne, you got Robin, and you got a whole array of, of bad guys, including little penguins, and Mr. Freeze, no less. I, I mean, this is an absolutely stunning model, and you get a, a bat boat. <laughs> By the way, I'm, I got the, the latest 2008 penguin sub, and I'm going to build that uh, next. So anyhow, Bill and Red are going to wish for you a wonderful Friday ahead and I'm going to wrap this one up and put it back in the box. Have a great uh, have a great Friday guys. See you later alligator.